<laughs> Yo, what is going on, Tiggs? Welcome back to another reaction, review, commentary, whatever you'd like to consider it. So, Kwasa, be calm. We just finished watching Starry Night um, by Mama Moo. I'm pretty sure this is all part of the Yellow Flower album, but this is Hwasa Be Calm. If I'm not wrong, Hwasa represents the flower. So Hwasa represents the flower. Let's get it. There's not much else for me to say other than this one came from to us by Patreon. They go by the name of Kayla Dolman. Um, I don't say this often, but again, for those of you guys who are not yet subscribed, it would mean a lot to me if you do hit that subscribe button. If you see me on your Explore page, but you're not subscribed, uh, it means you get notifications when I post. Um, you get to watch these videos alongside with me, and you get to stay updated with what's new on the channel. Again, no pressure, but it does help me out, and it does help me continue doing what it is I love to do, which is reviewing, uh, communicating my point of view, commentating, and doing stuff like that. Um, anyways, Wasa, be calm. Let's go. Hey, who's that? Hey, hold on, Rubik's Cube gang. Hold on, where's my Rubik's Cube? Where's my, where's my Rubik's Cube? The one time I actually need my Rubik's Cube, I can't find it. I'm so sad. <laughs> ah, what beautiful chords. Mm. You gotta solve for the white cross, you gotta solve for the white cross. Right, and then you gotta get the corners. And you gotta solve the bottom half, you know? You got this. Like that. Does it cover it? I really like the I really like the vibe that this song is giving off. It's very chill, very laid back. And you know, it's more so worried about the lyrics. When you're on a bike ride, what are you doing? You know, you're just with your thoughts. And I feel like that's what this kind of symbolizes, you know going through your own thought process. You know, be calm, calm yourself, which is what the lyrics stand for, or what the title of the song says, you know, be calm. I'm interested in this, let's keep going. Mm. That's the beauty, your eyes, your head might say one thing, but your heart says another. Your mind may say you're fine, but your heart may not be. Ooh. I like the breathiness this has. Ah. So nice. Oh, oh. That's the exact same riff that she did in Starry Night uh, with the rest of the girls at the end. Oh. Okay, okay, ah, ah. ah. What's his vocal capability, bro? I love her. I, I, I absolutely love Wasa, man. I, I sometimes I feel like words can't express how much I feel for a group because I will talk, right? And I will continue to ramble about how much I enjoy Mama Moo or how much I love Treasure or, you know, how much I enjoy Pew and Harmony or other groups like that. But I really feel like even though I talk so much, I can't express how much it really feels, you know, to appreciate groups like this. Groups that really offer some genuine and authentic music. Things that really get me going. Things that, you know, make my heart flutter. You know, it's very hard to come across groups like that. It's very hard to come across groups like Mama Moo. It's very hard to come across talent like Hwasa. I love what Hwasa stands for. I love her vocals, man. I just... <laughs> it makes me happy knowing that I have this platform and that I can listen to music like this and listen to it with you guys. And sometimes, you know, I've seen tweets where people believe that I do K-pop for views and stuff like that. And yeah, they're, they're not wrong. When I first started, it was all for the views. But, you know, as the channel grows and as we grow as a community, it hasn't become much more about the views. It's kind of become more about the content and the music that I'm listening to. Because at first, um, sorry for rant right here as you guys know there's time codes if you want to skip this part but when i first started doing this k-pop thing uh, when i first started doing this youtube thing i set out a clear goal and it was to be able to quit my job and 
do things that I enjoy. If you guys don't know, I'm very music oriented and I didn't know what to do with my music capabilities. I didn't know what to do with my art. So I went to reactions. You know, I felt like I could add some kind of value to, you know, music videos or stuff like that and leave my two cents. So that was my kind of initial mission statement. And the fact of the matter is that in order for me to be able to sustain myself, I needed a platform, right? And I'm just so genuinely happy that you guys have allowed me to have this platform because it allows me to listen to this without worrying too much. It allows me to be here, be present, and enjoy everything that I'm listening to. So thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so very much. Um, anyways, let's hop, let's hop back into this. As I was saying, be calm, man. You guys have allowed me to be calm. When it started, it was very eager, but now we come. Maybe spring notice making the flowers bloom. And she's a flower. Please, I'm finding my way back to life. Okay. What does the hunger say behind her? Somebody let me know. Her head's cut it off, cutting it off a bit. But there's a reason she was standing there. Because of that text. That guitar was so nice. That little... Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you didn't have to talk into my ear like that, Wasa. <laughs> This black lighting, that's so cute. That's adorable. She got her bike now. Interesting. I feel like that's something a lot of us do struggle with internally. You know, we'll have problems in our life that we don't really know how to address it because we may have these problems, but they're not physical problems. And what I mean by that, it's our mental. Our mental tends to, you know, do things to us that we can't fully explain into words, right? And this is one thing that I've learned through Taoism, right? It's to be present, be here, be now, and avoid the cluster that is in your mind. I say this quote a lot, but as Bruce Lee said, water can flow or water can crash. Think of the mind like water, right? If you give attention to all of the cluster inside of your mind, if you give it power over you, water is going to crash. You know, if you free yourself from the noise inside of your mind, you disassociate with all that cluster in there, you know, then water will flow. Be water, my friend. All that cluster does not define you. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Every time I see her do that, I get Rihanna. I know Huas is a big Rihanna fan as well. Hey. Oh, oh. oh. Ah. Dad says if you laugh once. Dad says if you laugh once, two of your worries go away. She also said in Starry Night that Dad says if you smile... You know, your concerns also go away or something along the, along the lines of that. Dad, Dad's telling her a lot of things to get her continuing to push forward. You know what I mean? That's a very nice dad. Dad's telling her a lot of things to help her move forward in life instead of get caught up in all the concerns, the sadness, the sorrow that like revolves around her. And that's kind of a good philosophy, you know, to live life by. You know, you can't take your time worrying about every single problem because that's what life is. Life is a problem that you have to learn to overcome. And in order to overcome it, you have to continue moving forward in this life, right? You can't get caught up on everything that's stopping you from moving forward. You just got to move forward. It's a continuous journey forward. Two of your worries will disappear. I like this. Uh. Okay. This song is making me emotional. 
Like I'm feeling it in my heart. Ah, uh, then we go back into the guitar. Ah, uh, and then we got our blue. Okay. Those are just bloopers, I guess. We were here for the song in itself. <laughs> so let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Hua says, be calm. I feel like the message behind be calm is much like Bruce Lee's quote, you know, water can flow, it can crash, you know, be water, my friend. Be calm. Ideally, don't worry about every minuscule detail that bothers you. Because sometimes we don't even have the answers knowing what's bothering us, yet we spend hours on hours on hours on hours on end worrying about what it is that's bothering us, even though we ourselves have no idea what it is, right? The number one advice that Huasa gave in this music video was be calm, you know? Laugh more, smile more, right? All these worries that you worry now, worry about now, most likely will not be there five years from now. Well, most likely will not be here 10 years from now. The best thing that you can do in this life is to continue pushing forward, to continue moving forward, right? And just continue living your life. Life is too short to be caught up on very minuscule details. Anyways, love this song. Was it become? Great music video. Um, great production. I really like how chilled and laid back this one was. I'm really liking the whole album so far. The whole album, you know, Yellow Flower, is really catching my attention. I'm really enjoying it. Anyways, Hwasa, be calm. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you takes in the next reaction, review, commentary, whatever you'd like to consider it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Remember, stay present, remain present, because present moment is all you have. Come, so many, you may only